Another form of specialized analysis is the workflow analysis tool, which can be used for scenarios when you have a large call center. So if you think of a call center's operations, a customer will call in for any number of reasons. They've changed their address, need policy information, they have billing questions, possibly want to submit a claim, and so on. The call comes in and it's routed to a certain queue, and hopefully the request can be fulfilled and closed by that person. Oftentimes that's not the case, and the customer will be routed from one queue to another depending on the complexity of their request. So in this scenario, all we need to do is answer a few simple questions about a call center's operations. First, we'll define how work is started in a queue, then how it's finished, how do we define wait time, and then lastly, where are exceptions occurring? When we're going back to a previous queue after starting work in it, if it contains specific events, or for instance has been routed to a specific queue, which always means this is an error queue. So you simply answer these questions. Once that's done, you'll see a full picture of how customers are interacting and being routed around the call center. So some of the metrics we have here. The first queue, where people are most commonly being sent, and then we can compare that with the last queue from their call. This will give us a good indication of how many requests are being fulfilled in a single queue. Now in this example, we can see that policy remediation is the most common last queue in a call. But what it shows as just a small sliver of the first queue that customers are routed to. This may signal something like an issue with the automated system. If it is consistently sending people to the wrong queue, they're consistently finishing in the policy remediation. We can also see metrics around the queues per timeline, time spent in queues, work time versus wait time, the throughput of calls through queues, and then also queue aging, the next and previous, and the exceptions in the queue. So I'd venture to say that the timeline with the smallest amount of queues and wait time before closing out a customer request would result in a happier customer. The overall point here is that the tool can automatically bring up this type of analysis, whereas customers typically have no other way to tie together the entire customer journey throughout their call center.